so I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to make a mythical creature. Um, I have animals under head, body, legs, tail, and environment. Now, you could roll um, a die and figure out what numbers you want out of the five. You can just randomly pick five numbers, which is what I'm going to do. You could have somebody else pick the numbers for you, and then you could write them down and figure out your animal. But I'm just going to go one through five for each one. So I'm going to do five, three, one, two, four. So then I go down my list and this one's number five. And then number three, number one, number two, and number four. So we're going to have a panda head, a kangaroo body, a hedgehog legs, a lemur tail, and then in the environment where it lives is going to be the desert. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this out and then we I'm going to use watercolor, but you could use color pencils, crayons, anything that you have that's easy to get a hold of. So since I'm using watercolor, I'm going to use this watercolor paper. It's just 8x8, so it's not very big. Um, at this point, you need to figure out if you want to make it a realistic drawing or if you want to make it um, more cartoonish. So I am going to go for more cartoon drawing. I'm going to start with the body because I need to figure out where the placement is on my paper. So I'm going to start with the body and then I'll add the other pieces. So I'm going to draw kind of dark just so you can see what I'm doing here, but you kind of want to begin by drawing light so you can erase easier if needed. And it's going to look really goofy until we start adding all of our other pieces because this is the pocket or the little pouch of the kangaroo and then his body and those are the beginnings of the legs. But the legs are going to be a hedgehog for mine or whatever you chose. So legs of a hedgehog are really tiny. And they have like little nails. And then I'm going to connect them right here just so it looks a little more complete. And then add the little tiny arms. Now the head is a panda. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in the head. You can always go back in and adjust. Like I may go back in and adjust the legs a little bit here in a minute. And then he has a lemur tail. So for the lemur, they kind of have a big bushy tail. That has stripes. Okay. And then he lives in the desert. So I'm not going to worry too much about my background just yet. 
I'm gonna go through and fix up any things, areas that look a little more incomplete. I'm going to go ahead and block in my areas. I'm going to ground him so I'm making it look like he's standing on something. And then it is in the desert, so one thing I think of are cactus. Maybe there's some rocks. Maybe there's a smaller cactus way out here in the distance. So once again, I'm just going through, before I start my watercolor, clean up any lines, figure out what exactly I want to change, what I'm not happy with. Now's the time to do it, because once you add your watercolor, it's you're pretty much done. You're not going to be able to take it back. Okay. So before I watercolor, though, I'm going to lightly uh, erase everything because that way you can't see the harsh lines that much. So I'm going to go through and erase some of these lines. and most of my lines are a lot lighter I can go in and start painting now remember you have to wake up the paint so I'm gonna start with the kind of sand portion of it now if you don't want a really harsh brown or maybe you want it to be a little lighter I'm gonna mix in a little bit of yellow just to give it a nice and color. Thank you. 
next I'm going to go ahead and go in and do his tail and his face because it's all black and gray. So his body and legs and background are all pretty much brown. So I'm going to go back in with colored pencils and kind of fill in and give texture to separate it. I know it looks really rough right now, but I just wanted to get kind of a wash of color down and then I'll go back in in just a minute once it's completely dry 
and add all the details with colored pencil. Okay, now that it's all dry, I'm gonna go in and work through it with my pencils. I'm gonna fast forward through this part just so you can kind of quickly see what I do.
to call that one complete for now. Um, if you decide to make this, please tag me on Instagram or Facebook at Art with Mrs. Carter. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below to get to either one of those. Um, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you. So we'll see you later. Bye.